Hey, welcome to another Fishing with Tom adventure. I'm sitting here today looking at my grandfather's old trolling rig. It's a uh, Shakespeare, I believe. Yep, Shakespeare service reel. Probably from the 40s or 50s. And he's got this old, I don't even know what this is made out of. Beautiful wood turned handle. Uh, real stout guides. Real stout rod for uh, heavy trolling action. And pretty excited that... Uh, I got some of my grandfather's gear, but we're not talking about the past today. We're talking about the present. It's 2018, springtime in Maine, although that's debatable, and it's open water season. The only problem is there's only one lake open, Sebago, and the whole lake's not open yet either. Uh, lake Auburn, skimmed over, real punky ice. Looks like it's going to go out this week sometime. Today's April 21st, so it's going to be a late season. Thompson Lake, still full of ice. Rang Ponds, still full of ice. Uh, we're supposed to be up in Rangeley next week. There's still snowmobiling up there. So my Rangeley trip is kaput. So I had a great winter season. I looked forward to it. Everything was frozen, but now I'm paying the price. Sebago's the only show in town. The water's still really cold, and the fish are coming slow. But in the next couple days, the next couple weeks, everything's going to heat up, and we're going to be back in business. So this year... As you're going to see, I went crazy with technology and I upgraded the boat. I put a new power unit on, went with a Merc 30. I went with a Minn Kota Altera trolling motor that does everything but cook breakfast. And I linked that into a Hummingbird Helix 7. So I am a high-tech redneck, officially. It's all hooked up and it's all to catch fish. Um, everybody's doing it, I figured. i got to try it. Or at least a lot of the, a lot of the anglers are trying the technology. Last year I went with the Digitrol downrigger, so this year I went with the Altera and that whole setup. So I uh, had a couple of shakedown runs on Sebago and didn't fish, just tried the motors out. But went out Saturday with my buddy the Mouse Man, and well, sit back and watch the video. You'll see how we did then. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Well, fishing season is here, despite what the weather's like. Sebago's the only game in town right now in my neck of the woods. But I wanted to show you a little bit of the advances and the updates we made in the boat this year. I went techno crazy, had to get in on it, and let's start with the uh, let's start with the powerhead. Went with a 30 horse Mercury four stroke, electronic fuel injection, three cylinders instead of two. Very good at sipping gas and a little bit more power for the boat when I need it. Comes with a gas assist tilt, which makes lifting this big boy and dropping it very easy. So, so far it's performed well. We got about uh, two hours of uh, shakedown on it, and that's about it. It's just broken in. All right, let's move to the front of the boat. This is the gem of the system. Integrated with the Humminbird Fish Finder is our new Altera. This baby operates off remote control, also operates off the Humminbird, and operates off my iPhone. That's how we deploy it. That's how we stow it. This allows me to spot lock, stay in one position, but most importantly, it allows me to follow the contour lines as I fish. I, I tested that out the other day and it worked phenomenally. Now over here, you can't see it because it's all camoed up, but we got our jigging machine. Look at that sweetness. When my arm gets tired, I can jig the fly rod and it's adjustable up to crazy fast, down to barely moving. And that's probably a good speed right there. So that's what we've got in store this year. Can't wait to get out in the water and, and test it out. It's going to be a good season, just hope the weather cooperates.
Yeah, we're in about 56 feet of water right here. Let me get the line out and I'll do it. All frigged up. Nope, oh, fish on. Fish on. Nope, that's bottom. That's bottom. That's bottom. All right, fishing with Tom Adventures, and we got some new technology today. We got the Altera motor in the front. It's tied into the Humminbird Fish Finder. It's linked up with the iPilot Link, and we are following a 30-foot contour on Sebago, trying to catch some salmon and toad. Got the mouse man letting his line out. Get ready for the big bite. Look at that. Fish on. No, no, no. Let me lock this in. Too much technology. I see too much technology. I'll just keep us going. I'm not gonna slop us, I don't think. This thing's got it's got a good tug to it. Holy shit mouse. That's a big toe, yeah. Gotta be. Yeah, he got a good fight to him. He's pumping like a toad. First fish of the year. I'm just gonna back it down a little bit. I'm gonna keep us going, but back it down a little bit. Else that wind will frig us up. All right. Well, I'll keep us in the. I'm just gonna keep us going slow. He hit hard. Now he's kind of slowing down a little bit. Yeah, he he hit strong, but. Thumping like crazy. He's, he's straight down. Yep. That's nice. This thing keeps us in position good.
going to roll the leader up.